Hi everyone, it's Pastor Karen, and it's time for Family Devotions again. I'm glad to see you. I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're taking care of yourself these days. I wanted to share with you something that I was reminded of today. Every day when I come to work and I open my desk drawer, right inside I see this folded up note and I keep it there for a very particular reason. This note was given to me several weeks ago when a man came to our church asking for help and he wrote down a little bit of what he was looking for, what his problems were, and the note was brought to me, and then I went out to sit with him and listen to him and talk with him and pray with him. And uh, his story was so sad. He felt like he was at the end of his rope. He was dealing with problems with addiction and all kinds of family drama and dysfunction and broken relationships and uh, he was feeling very far from God and he really did feel like maybe he had nowhere else to turn and that the world had turned its back on him and he came not asking for money or food or help with bills as some neighbors do and uh, sometimes we're able to help them with those needs. But the, need, the help he needed that day was someone to listen to him and pay attention and let him know that he was not alone and to pray with him and encourage him and give him some hope. And so that's what I spent time doing with him. And uh, I encouraged him in the steps that he had decided he was taking to try to face his problems and overcome them and um, sort of turn in a new direction and, and bring some better things into his life. And I also let him know that he was, of course, welcome to come back and worship with us and uh, to know that we would be praying for him. And so every day when I see this note, I do pray for him, and I pray for others who are in similar situations, who may not be capturing our attention right now as we are so busy uh, doing all the wonderful things that we are doing to get ready for Christmas. We're focused on buying gifts and sending them to family members and sending out Christmas cards and baking and decorating and uh, some of those joyous things that we uh, are always love to do and we especially want and need to do this year to um, add some joy to our lives and to our families. But uh, I also want to remind us that there's more to Christmas than our own family traditions, even our own church traditions, more than worship, more than music, more than gift giving. There are people around us all the time who need to hear that there is good news for them and that God is with them and that Jesus came for them and that they are included in God's love and God's family. And we can be the messengers of hope that they need right now. And so I want to encourage you to um, do all you can to be that listening ear, to offer a prayer for someone, to let someone who's struggling in some way know that there is someone who cares and that God is with them and that there is always reason for hope that God has a, a better future ahead for them and that they are not alone because we are with them and praying for them and loving them. Isn't that one of the most important gifts that we can give away this Christmas? Let's pray together. Holy God, in all the busyness and the joy and the good things that we are uh, spending our days doing these days, help us to remember that the most important way we can celebrate Christmas, the most important gift we can give 
the most important way we can share the good news of Jesus' birth is to provide compassion and help, prayer and love and companionship to those who are struggling, especially now at Christmas. Help us to be messengers of hope to others. Amen. Bye, friends. Take good care of yourselves. I miss you. I love you. And I'll see you soon.